Hello everybody, Swaminath here. Today we are going to see customization request versus workbench request. This is a very important interview questions in SAP. So they may ask you what is the difference between a customization request and workbench request. What is the difference, basic difference? Okay, let's see what is customization request. Customization request is used, mainly used by financial consultant and mainly into SPRO settings. I'll just show you in the SAP system itself. Okay, it is client dependent. Client dependent in the sense, whichever the client it has been created will be available in that particular client only. So unless or until it has been transported by the base system, it will be available only in the specific client, whichever it is created. Okay. And the recording will be done in the customizing request. Okay. Let's see in the SAP system. Let's go to SAP system itself. I will show you what is customizing request. Go to SPRO. 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 SAP reference IMG, go to enterprise structure, enterprise structure, definitions, financial accounting. Let me create a company code, edit, copy, delete, check company code, edit company code data. New entry, let's create a company code now. Okay, DF08, it's my company code. Okay, DF industries. Okay. Order currency, INR. Country, India, IN. And language, EN. Press enter. And let me save this. Now it's going to be saved in customizing request. Country, IN. Continue. It's going to be saved in customizing request. See here, customizing request. Okay. This is so-called customizing request. And this is client dependent. It is available only in this client. Okay. Unless or otherwise it has been, this request has been transported to the other client. It will be available only in that client. Let me take this. Let me take this request. Okay. It's, it is recorded in the customizing request. Okay. Now let's complete this. Continue. Okay. Now come back. Let's close this. Let's go to SC09, SC09, okay, customizing request, let's, let's open this customizing request, display, the user is SAP L2 W08, display, display, let's open a notepad and my request which I have created as company code in this request, okay, 78 in this request, I have created in this request. See it. This is the request where I have created it. It will be available only in this request. Only it will be available only in this client. Unless or until it has been transported, it will be available only in this client. Okay. That is customizing client. Okay. See here. This is the one I have created. This is the one company code. Company code. Okay, come back. Okay, now let's see what is, what is, what page records, what page records. It is mainly used by technical consultant, technical consultant and it's client independent. Client independent in the sense, it will be available in all the clients. When you create it in one client, it will be available in all the client automatically. Okay, that is client independent. Okay, recorded in the one page request. SAP ABAP program. I'll just show you ABAP program where it is getting saved. A sample ABAP program I have been put in there. I have pasted it in description. Check the description for a sample ABAP program. Okay, you can copy paste and you can also work on that. Okay functions or packages, I'm going to create a package now and create a workbench request in that package. Okay, let me show that what is workbench request. It is mainly used by ABAP team, ABAP programmers. Okay, workbench request will be available in all the client in the landscape. In the system landscape, once when it is getting saved in the workbench customization, it will be available in the all the client, across all the client in the landscape. Okay, that is workbench request. Now let's go to the SAP system. I'm going to create a package. Okay. SC 
8.0. It's my creation of the package. I'm going to create a package here. SC80. Okay. Let me create a package. Let me create a package. Set pack. Learn to win. Set pack. Learn to win. Present. Yes. Do you want to create the objects? Yes. Okay. Set pack. Learn to win. Short description. Okay. See, development package, development package, content. Content. See here, package, set pack, learn to win. It's my package. Let me copy and paste it here. Let me copy and paste it here. Set pack, learn to win. See, workbench request. It's getting saved in workbench request. So that it will be available across all the client in the landscape. Okay, continue. Okay. Z pack learn to win. See here. Double A. Z pack learn to win. This is my package. Now I'm going to create a ABAP program. Sample a simple sample ABAP program slash in SC38. SC38. Transaction code SC38. Z ABAP underscore learn to win. Learn to win. Okay, create, create. Okay, above program, program, learn to win. Okay, type is executable program, executable program. Okay, now let me save this, just save this. See here, package, I'm going to select the package. Let me enter this, set pack, learn to win, cut it. See here, this is my set pack learn to win. Okay, now save here. I'm going to save this in this package. Okay, save it. Just save it. Okay, see here, workbench records. It's getting stored in workbench records. Okay. Let me take this. Let me take this. Request. Request number. Continue. Want to create a sample ABAP program, simple and sample. You don't have to do anything here. I have just given this control A, copy, and save it. Just check this, just save this. Let me give the same ABAP program in my description. Just copy paste and you can try it in your system. Activate, continue, and execute. Execute. It's a simple program. A simple program from the table S book. The table is S book. S book. Table is S book. I'm going to S book. I'm going to display all the details from the table S book. S book. Okay. That is what the ABAP program. This ABAP program is all about. Only these three fields I have taken: airlines, date, date. Book ID and passenger. Only these three, four pins. See here, these four pins. This is so called workbench. Now let's go to SC SC zero nine SC zero nine workbench request. See here, workbench request display display. See here, workbench request display. What is my what is my request number is this? A4 HK 9038 See here, this is the this got stored in this workbench request. Now it is it will be available in all the client across the landscape. This is so-called workbench request. It is client independent. Got it? Thank you. This is the difference between workbench request and customizing. Thank you.